in quarter comma main tone temperament, we can play pure major third to all the church modes. And when we get out to the range of four accidentals, uh, we have a problem. We can't find the major thirds. So, for example, if we go to the cross uh, um, side, uh, we have a problem. And here, the uh, organ builders and the keyboardists added an extra key to allow for playing not only E flat but also D sharp. So we have the major third, and we have another one with a G sharp gives us the major pure major third to E. But when we want to use it as a root, as an A flat, it doesn't work. Then we have really a G sharp and a C. So we need we need the extra key. And uh, the same problem we have with F sharp, where the B flat uh, gives a diminished fourth. Uh, so we need the A sharp. So by adding these notes, we can play more in uh, major and minor uh, tonalities out in the uh, ranges far from the center of C major. We can even play like Weckmann has in his works, a pure F sharp major. That was possible in the Rückpositiv at Jacobi Church. And we can choose to play a chromatic scale uh, with the natural uh, co uh, uh, consequences of quarter comma mean tone. We'll just listen to it. playing it with a D-sharp instead of the E-flat, and if we prefer, uh, the A-flat and the A-sharp. So now we had more symmetry, which is probably not what they were used to. less symmetry <laughs> with the A-flat. So the important thing is to not think that we find the sharps at the back or at the front. We have to realize that we find it uh, by thinking which keys were not used very often. The D-sharp is not at all in the normal range of, of notes. You have the E-flat as the standard. The G-sharp is the usual one, the major third to E, and the A-flat is unusual. The B flat is the most frequently used, and the A sharp less frequently, which is why we find the D sharp at the back, the A flat at the back, and the A sharp at the back. So what one needs to think about and practice mentally is uh, the position of these unusual keys. And in terms of fingering, you should to have longer fingers. So if I play the D sharp, I prefer to play that note with the second finger. A difficult chord is the A flat, where you have the uh, A flats at the back and then you have the E flat at the front. So one needs to realize that the 
sharp keys are sometimes at the front, sometimes at the back. And usually the front uh, sharps are the G sharp, and then you have the flats, E flat and B flat, and then you have the D sharp and the A sharp at the back and the A flat. So this is what you need to think about from the practice of moving from the church modes into this use of uh, major and minor tonalities with the extension, with the addition of these extra keys to subsemitones.